we used a smaller slide, but we were able to position it to the maximum height that's allowed and get it into the pool enough that it meets all the specs and safety compliance. And it just worked out really good. And, and with the grotto, able to hide the slide and the steps that we built up over the back side here. You know, so when we built the steps too, that was another big thing, was making them big enough, wide enough, that they worked and they're safe, but not look like some plastic steps that are just set on the side. You know, so many people think when you get a slide, it comes with the steps, it comes with everything. It just comes with the plastic only. Yeah. The plastic slide. So there's a lot that goes into it. And uh, that's why when you get a slide, that's why the price goes up uh, a pretty good amount. Well, and another thing too, the cage. Right. You gotta raise the cage up. So if, like on this, on this pool, there's a riser wall up off of the roof line to get the cage high enough that when you're walking up the stairs and going down the slide, you're not hitting your head on the, on the cage. What is that, a three foot, four foot riser? Yeah, it's four foot riser off of the roof line. And another thing with this cage in particular is just because of all the angles, because of the property lines, it had to be the way that it is. And, and Absolute Aluminum nailed it on that one too. If you're interested in having a pool built by Superior Pools, please visit www.superiorpools.com.